Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Rohan Bijou, and today we're taking a look at the FiFine AM8 microphone. So this microphone has both USB-C support as well as XLR support. So this is great for both beginners as well as advanced users who need more equipment to use the microphone for your own needs. So we've actually taken a look at another FiFine microphone a couple years back called the A8, and it was a pretty good microphone. It was really affordable and was really easy to use for a beginner such as me. And the AM8 also falls into the same category of the A8 in terms of affordability. So this microphone is currently on Amazon at $65. Well, technically it is $55 now because there is a 15% discount, which just makes it a much more affordable device for users. And before we talk more about the device, I just wanna let you know that any sound that comes from me in this video is gonna come from the AM8. So any talking head shot, any voiceover in general is gonna come from the AM8. So it gives you a much clearer understanding of what the audio sounds like. And let's give a quick rundown of what we're gonna cover in today's video. First, we're gonna do an unboxing. Then we're gonna talk about specs, both physical as well as the sound specs. And then finally, we're gonna talk about my final thoughts, my experience, and then my final score for the AM8. So before we begin, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to watch more future content like this. Like this video if you found this helpful and comment any questions or concerns and I'll try my best to answer them. So without further ado, first up is unboxing. So here we can see the box and it's full of information, but we will cover more about this info later in the video. Let's pop open the box and take a look inside. The first thing we can find inside is the manual for the AM8 and then we can remove the foam cover inside and take a look at the white base, which is given with the AM8 and it feels really hefty and really solid. Then we can see the microphone itself. And when I lifted the microphone for the first time, it was pretty hefty and felt very solid in terms of build quality and didn't feel cheap at all. Let's place the microphone aside and then take out the final item, which is a wire, which is USB-C to USB, which is used to connect your microphone to any source like a MacBook PC or your console. So that's pretty much what you find in the box and let's place it aside and quickly set up the microphone. All you need to do is take the microphone screw it into the base, and that's pretty much set if you wanna use it in a desk setup. And in this video, as you probably noticed, I am using this microphone with a boom arm. And this microphone is compatible with most boom arms and is actually recommended to use. Awesome, so that was pretty much it for the unboxing as well as setup. Now let's talk about the physical specs. So I got the microphone in this matte white colorway, which looks pretty nice, but there is also a matte black version if that fits more of your aesthetic. On the top of the microphone, we can see we have this gray windscreen, which is made out of a felt type material. So it's quite thick and effective. So this is what it sounds like with the windscreen on. Let's slowly start taking it out and see what it sounds like. So let's slowly take it off. It is removable. There is probably a slight difference in how it sounds if I talk like that, it, you can hear, clearly hear those sort of explosive sounds from my breath. It's pretty clear. And if you take a look here, it is metal. It is pretty nice. It sort of does an effective job of, you know, reducing my breath into the microphone, but it doesn't do it as well as it would with a, you know, a felt type windscreen. So this is obviously a better addition. Let's put it back on. So this is what it sounds like with the windscreen on. On the body of the AM8, we can find an audio gain knob as well as an audio monitoring system for your headphones that could be connected to the AM8. So these two knobs can either increase the volume or the effectiveness of the sound, and the other one can increase the amount of audios that get passed through into your headphones. Also on the same side, we can find the RGB controls for the microphone. If we just hit it, it cycles through multiple preset RGB light setups, which is pretty cool. And if you wanna turn it off, all you need to do is hold on to the light control and it turns off. On the back of the microphone, we can find the touch sensitive mute button. So whenever I wanna mute the AM8, all I need to do is touch it very lightly and then the red light pops up, which means I'm muted. If I touch it again, it means I'm unmuted, which is pretty convenient. But one not so great thing to know when doing this is that the mic picks up the noise when touching any of these buttons on the microphone. So it's not that great when streaming if you need to adjust these small things. So say I wanna increase or reduce the noise, all you need to do is sort of, you know, move it around. But you can clearly see that whenever I touch the microphone, it picks up that sound, which is not that great. But if you did have an XLR connection and you connect it to an external mixer, you can use that mixer instead to, you know, increase the gain or, you know, increase or decrease the sound that's coming into your microphone as well as muting. But it's still great that this microphone does everything on board. And further talking about the buttons, the placement of these buttons are still better than the A8. Before it was really hard to, you know, turn on the gain 
or change the sound that's coming into your headphones. Now it's much easier. You can easily turn it here and you can clearly see where you're turning. And also when you, you know, mute it, it's much easier to do now. It's right here. You can sort of see it when talking into the microphone. On the bottom of the mic, we can find the ports. We have a USB type C port, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack port, and then finally an XLR port. You can use a USB-C port to connect the AM8 to any console, PC or Mac, and you can use the XLR port to connect the mic to a sound card or a mixer. I actually do have a video coming up for an inexpensive mixer, so if you wanna do check it out, you can find the link right here. On the bottom, we can see the white ring, which is where all the RGB light comes from. It's a little subtle and it's not very over the top in terms of what it has to offer with RGB. One thing to note is that you need to have a USB-C connection to have the lights on. So this means that if you're using XLR, you still need to have the USB-C to have the RGB light. Now let's talk about the sound specs for this microphone. The Fifine AM8 is a dynamic cardioid microphone with a 16-bit bit depth. It also has a sensitivity of negative 50 plus minus three decibels, and the frequency response is 50 to 16 kilohertz. Awesome, so that was pretty much it for both the physical as well as the sound specs. So now let's move on to my experience with the microphone as well as my final thoughts. So before I talk more about my experience, here are some things that could make your AM8 experience a bit better. So since you're given a stand from the box itself, you could use that and place it on the table. But to get the full effectiveness of that, you have to be directing the microphone to your mouth. And when you place it on the table, the only possible place is to put it right in front of you. So if you're streaming using a keyboard, it might be harder to use a keyboard if your microphone is right in front of you. So that is why you could use a boom arm, which is the way Fifan recommends to use the AM8. You can direct the microphone to your face and you can have the added flexibility of using your table as much as you like. Awesome, so my experience with the microphone was pretty good. It was definitely a step up from the Amplicam A8 in both sound quality as well aesthetics. I think the only major downside is that if you use the microphone while typing, it might pick up very slightly like here or there, but it is quite light and it is a sacrifice you make for an affordable high quality microphone. And one of the best things about the microphone is that it's a very plug and play microphone. So if you are using this via USB-C, this means that beginners who aren't really audiophiles can use this with minimal equipment. Once you plug this microphone into your computer, the computer automatically recognizes it and you're already ready to start using it. And you don't need additional softwares or anything like that. So in the end, based on the pros and cons, I would give the Fifine AM8 an 85 out of 100. It is a relatively amazing microphone, has really good sound quality, really good windscreen, really good things on the device itself that makes it very accessible to use as a standalone microphone, but it's not exceptional in any way. There are some minor flaws, obviously with the keyboard typing. If I touch the microphone, you can clearly hear that. There's slight things like that, but it is a great microphone for the price of $55. So as always, I've left links in the description if you wanna go check this monitor out and buy it. So thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to watch more future content like this. Like this video if you found this helpful and comment any questions or concerns and I'll try my best to answer them. So thank you guys for watching. Catch you in the next one. Peace.